mangrove is so important for the Lamu people because it's part of their life, it's part of their culture, it's part of their tradition. Areas within Lamu are covered with the islands. So most of the people within the islands, they tend to depend on the sea, mangrove, sea, and the ecological system that are found within, uh, within the sea. So what does this mean? This means there's a lot of pressure, especially on the mangrove ecosystems and other um, livelihood activities that do happen in these areas. So if we don't restore, if we don't come up with sustainable options, if we don't build this knowledge base, if we are not able to bring all these different players together, it means that the pressure that is happening on the mangroves is going to increase. We are gathered here uh, uh, this week and for the next uh, eight days uh, with a group of uh, non-government organizations, uh, coastal communities, um, as well as the government agencies. And the reason we are here is to mainly advance a coordinated uh, collaboration in terms of uh, conservation and restoration of mangrove forests in Kenya. There's some amazing community groups doing lots of planting and doing lots of restoration work and the local and the national government um, and also the non-profits and NGOs as well. Sisi kama shirika la pata marine community conservancy, tulipapata mafundisho kutoka kwa mashirika tafatafauti ya kiwemo TNC, ya kiwemo NRT, ya kiwemo Kenfri na mengine ambao ya ayana mambo ya ifadhi ya mikoko. Tuliweza pia kukurudi nyumbani kuja chini mashinane kuelimisha jamii yetu hasa hasa wanawake ambao walikuwa hawana kazi ambao walikuwa hawakuandikwa kazi ambao walikuwa wamekaa idol nyumbani watusaidie ama tusaidiane kurudisha mikoko pale pake sasa tukaanza ku form groups tofauti tofauti za wanawake tuko hapa kijiji cha mtangawanda kwa hivyo sisi kama watu wa mtangawanda tunategemea samaki, tunategemea ka. Sisi tulianza safari ya kupanda mikoko mwaka wa elfu mbili na kuminanane baada ya sehemu zetu kuharibiwa na watu wa kukata kutengeneza choka walikuwa wakikata mikoko, wakichoma mawe kutengeneza choka. Samaki walikuwa hakuna wabubi wakienda wanalalamika kaa hivyo hivyo. Tukaona basi kuna umuhimu wa sisi wa kwenda kupanda hiyo mikoko. Sisi kufanya hii restoration nyumba zao sasa zimeimarika na wamekuwa wengi na wengi na wengi zaidi. Na wao ndio sahihi hapa Pate Island ndio wako mbele kwa kutia mikoko ama kwa kupanda mikoko na mikoko imeanza kunawiri kwa sababu ya wanawake. So many groups here understand the importance of restoring mangroves and the importance of mangroves um, and a lot of the efforts have been focused on planting and we have seen some failures. So really bringing this technical, this scientific knowledge and helping everybody to understand how to restore mangroves um, and how to have the best success is really important. Actually, uh, what I'm seeing is people coming out frankly and saying we've been doing it the wrong way. Uh, we've, we have seen areas uh, on which we can improve and, and this is particularly what this uh, training was aimed at achieving. Combining the scientific part and also combining the community uh, knowledge is one of the best approach that uh, uh, really integrates this uh, rightful information to our community. Initially, uh, I thought like uh, when there is a loss of mangrove, then it means it is direct planting. But only 
to realize that now through uh, this training i realized that okay before even you go ahead and uh, try to do a restoration of an area then there is important factors like uh, social research you need to, to do the biophysical uh, research and also looking into whether that place is worthy uh, restoration is just or it is just all about uh, conservation so it has been a, a very beneficial and also important training supporting my work towards providing uh, quality nature-based solutions towards mangrove conservation so my take home message for this particular CBMR that has been conducted here in Faza is that we should always give uh, nature a chance to be uh, what it should be, what it was meant to be. So actually we should not force mangroves to be what uh, they were not meant to be. So in, in essence, we should only plant when it is necessary. Actually planting should be the last option. One thing that was interesting in this workshop is um, the level of uh, engagement that happened and the interaction that happened. You could see uh, people bringing out their issues uh, so clearly, the communities expressing the desire to see a change. So from this training, I can see already the different stakeholders that work to uh, uh, undertake conservation and restoration of mangrove ecosystems in Kenya already uh, discussing on ways to continue uh, working together and uh, particularly on the areas of uh, science-based uh, mangrove restoration. I also expect a change in the approach in uh, restoration and management that um, will come out of this workshop Having gone through the course, I expect the stakeholders to change the approach uh, that they have been uh, using in terms of restoration so that we can have better results in the future. Somebody said that together we can. And I believe that CBMR gives us the opportunity to work together as people who have different stakes in mangroves to conserve and manage our mangroves.